What's up, y'all? It's Normies coming at you a little bit of community. Season 3, episode 11, uh, Urban Matrimony and Sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. And sandwiches? And sandwiches. I was shy sandwiches. to sandwich right uh, now. As you guys have known, I didn't synced it all already, but I'm here back to rewatch, so it's much more on these guys. I'm just going to kind of sit back and cruise, so, you know, talk about whatever you guys usually talk about. Now, I have to refresh my memory. They're all, the Annie and all the rest are still living together, right? Or yes. 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 So this, yes. Yeah, I want to see more of that. As far as we know, they are still living together. Damn it, it's cloth. Oh, of course. Urban matrimony, this is going to be an interesting one. It's got the word matrimony yeah. in it, and you know matrimony what that means. Who knows sandwiches. where they're going to go with it, possibly, though. And Maybe. then sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the three roommates will get married? I'm I'm into that. I like that idea. Ooh. A little bit of fan fiction. Marriage sandwich. Yeah, and and then just throw a sandwich in there because who doesn't like a good sandwich? Well, I mean it's a marriage sandwich if you got a guy on this oh, side, a guy oh, on this side, a girl on this side. Maybe that's what's going on. Yep. Love sandwich. The old love sandwich. Uh, wow, it's been I'm honestly sure the last few that. episodes have been hilarious though. So this can yeah, only be even better. Nice. I literally haven't seen this one since it came out, so I'm ready whenever you guys are. Hell yeah, ready. Ready. we're ready. I miss having a coffee shop. Now where am I gonna get my cappuccinos and Sarah McLaughlin CDs? <laughs> if I had the space, I would have served fresh fruit and sandwiches. <laughs> the sprite <laughs> says soda. <laughs> Good notice. Oh. Why do you look like a wealthy murderer? I look like an entrepreneur. Dad's gone. I'm expanding Hawthorne Industries, investing in new products. Hair dye. <laughs> it's kind of weird. That's not, that can be a It's weird. an old security camera that can tell your friends from intruders. How does it work? What? Your guests have arrived. Threat level four. <laughs> your guests have arrived. It's not calibrated. Wireless racism. <laughs> the future of the past is now. Uh, <laughs> at least go to food. You have capital, and Greendale has real estate. Talking about the whole reason you came here, to start a business. Should I have my people call your people? I mean, not your people. Why are you doing that, people? It's Shirley House. The year was 1991. Is he proposing? Oh, my God. Oh! See, that's where I first laid eyes on Shirley Edwards. A vision in hyper color and hammer pants. That's too public for me. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I would say no. That's all we need. But there is one thing, something important that we keep putting off. Will you, Shirley Bennett, marry me and Andre Bennett? Good shit. You call it. <laughs> Who called it? Run and run and sit there? I just said it. And then we're going to get married. Yeah. Well, but I mean, somebody says he proposed to me. What? Authorities? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Should I call the authorities? Do you guys need the subtitles on? Yeah. Cool that Andre and Shirley are getting married again. There's a whole generation of viewers that didn't get to see the original. Let's hope the Second ones are okay, I guess. If I had to rank them, I'd go fourth, seventh, second, fifth, first, third, sixth. No, wait. First, then fifth. Got it. Fourth, seventh, second, first, fifth, third, sixth. When's our culture gonna outgrow this wedding thing? Yeah, <laughs> like he'll remember that. Oh, God bro, damn it, Britta. Not everything you both said. Weddings are like little girls' tea parties, except the women are the stuffed animals, the men are making them talk, and they're not drinking tea. They're drinking antiquated gender roles. Somebody <laughs> tell Britta what an analogy is. I know. <laughs> like a thought with another thought's hat on. <laughs> <laughs> What? Look, I can't get back. <laughs> it was invented back when till death meant till your first cold. I mean, life's too long to spend it with someone else. It's a sucker's game. It's a mutual cop out. Brother, like, met for each other. Oh, the rehearsal is in two days, and the wedding is the day after that on our anniversary. And I'm oh. sure you all can make it because you're already here. You're having your wedding in the study room? Our church has certain policies what? regarding things like second weddings and tight jeans and Calco cats. Um, what? Yes. I was that. wondering if he would do us the honor of giving a toast at our wedding. Good idea. Jeff has a lot of thoughts about marriage. I would be honored. Do you need any help with your wedding? This probably sounds silly, but every time I see a wedding idea I like, I put it in a little scrapbook. Oh, that's nice. How big is it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got it. Everyone just come and relax and behave normally. Oh, oh. noise that people make when they're offended in all the movies that Annie rents. <laughs> I managed to set up a meeting with the dean. What is up with him? Sandwich shop idea? Who does he He's a business like, manager. Yeah, like, he looks like the guy from Psycho. Oh, I don't know, Pierce. I'm way too busy for that now with the wedding and everything. Bye-bye, everybody. I have to practice my walk. Ladies and gentlemen, the trouser bench. 
Yeah, I'll fall right down. <laughs> what? Yeah, I want the that. The man on the go who makes frequent stops. <laughs> no. Will somebody please call all the ambulances? Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> We should show up at this wedding and be the most normal people in the world. Yeah, I could go as normal, man, and you can be my trusty sidekick, Ordinario. <laughs> no, it's already weird. You've been playing into our hand. <laughs> we should just show up wearing boring gray suits. We could dye our hair gray, and we could lay down on the sidewalk and be invisible, you know? Does it look good in all that gray on gray on gray? What if we purged all the weirdness from our systems? You mean a full 24-hour weird down in the dreamatorium. Just you, me, and our imaginations, no restraints. By the wedding, our temptation to act weird will be gone. I'm feeling more normal already. <laughs> oh my god. I hope you'll show all of that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, so. My ninth grade English teacher used to say, there will always be a reason not to follow your dreams. At the time, he meant I was under the age of consent. But his words still <laughs> apply. You sure your wedding is the reason you're bailing on this business with Pierce? Uh, in the words of my ninth grade English teacher, you are dipping and dapping and don't know what's in it. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to start a business. I can't help it if I have floral arrangements to pick and a DJ to hire. Shirley, if that She's really good. is your excuse, I will plan your wedding for you. Thank <laughs> 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 you. I was serious. <laughs> oh, hey guys. Did someone say Annie help wedding? Do not use your second wedding as an excuse to limit yourself. Pierce! He looks like a stock Come here. He does look like the Wolf of Wall Street. Do you yeah. take this man to be your business partner? I guess. Sure. I had to shell the trouser bench anyway. There are still some parts of the prototype that need to be extracted. Oh, God. <coughs> Maybe you're misunderstanding? I mean, from my butt. Mm. Yeah. Excuse me. Let's get that stiff walk. <laughs> Meet Shirley. She's large, she's good. Yeah, she's so a business relationship black. in the sandwich, bingo. Not a stereotype. Suburban black. Is she suburban or urban? She's half urban. <laughs> <laughs> this was Britta's stupid idea. I'd rather be with my man planning my wedding, and you'd clearly rather be with Halle Berry in 1999. <laughs> Pleasure not doing business with you. Shirley, uh, both our wives fired me. Oh. Why? They were just waiting for my dad to be out of the picture. Uh, I'm not a, an entrepreneur, I'm just a kid with a bunch of money. Please help me be somebody. Let me invest in you. Come on, Shirley. Yeah, but he can't, he cannot run any part of it. No, other than the no, money. of course. The thing we need to figure out is our overhead. Do you have a pen? Yeah. <laughs> you just let him think that he's- God! <laughs> He means the theme of the wedding. Right, Dale? Mm -hmm. Same theme as every wedding. Conformity, blind participation, and patriarchal. What about pink? We don't call it pink. We don't call anything by its name. That's like day one floral school stuff. <laughs> this is citrine. This is opalescent. <laughs> this is glass cameo and cerulean. How difficult is this? <laughs> these, these. She's about to make a masterpiece. These. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be gorgeous. Bingo. <laughs> Bird's nest? There's some birds there. Like bird's nest. Where did you find those? Yeah, well, great. Flowers look good in a pot. There are people dying in Uganda. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm shaving everything. <laughs> Isn't tonight Shirley's wedding rehearsal? Is that yeah, his yeah. dad's hair? Yes, this simply won't do. Troy and Abbott being normal. Whoa. Annie, I need your help. <laughs> um, you're like sentimental and stuff. <laughs> this is our first time You know what I think would make the perfect toast? You, as Shirley's friend, and a good guy just saying what's really in your heart. Oh my god, but is he There's something real in there. Maybe that's what scares you. Uh... <laughs> that was Annie's boobs. <laughs> <laughs> tell you the three reasons that Shirley's sandwiches and your cafeteria are going to be successful. Well, then I'm writing this down. Hmm? Wait. Here's a pen. Uh oh, oh nice. Oh my god. Britta, you're really good at this. I know. Because she hates it so much, she knows all This may shock you, Annie, but I come from a long line of wives and mothers. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to give you that. I didn't want to depend on any man for anything, and now look at me. I'm Betty Crocker. I'm Martha Stewart. I'm one of the Steppenwolf wives. <laughs> Stepford wives. I'm going to make some man very happy someday. <laughs> With you guys. Mom, Brett is interesting. Anybody seen Shirley? What? Shirley's late to the rehearsal for her wedding? Oh my. Hey man, <laughs> oh you don't my. be sarcastic. I'm not being sarcastic. We're heavily invested in your situation. Nothing's more important to us than your second wedding's rehearsal going smoothly. Walk away. <laughs>
<laughs> Did you think of a toast? I had a drink. I looked in my heart. Here's what I got so far. Webster's Dictionary defined... Stop! Me. Stop! <laughs> and how fiscal will the quarterly earnings be? <laughs> That's not even what. Wait, well, your question makes no sense. I, I know. I just want to sound as good at business as you are. Oh. Look at me now, Dad. Dad? Oh my God, I'm supposed to be looking like a bride for my wedding rehearsal to the dad of my children. How come? That was an odd dot to connect. So she was sandwiched between two men. <laughs> All the symbolism. Yep. What's with you? This is who I am. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Uh, wonderful news. Where were you? Uh, getting wonderful news. The dean loved our pitch. Your pitch. Woman, I've been waiting for you for two hours. Oh. oh. Sorry. Don't you dare use your sexy voice on me. Oh. <laughs> Shirley, I thought this wedding was supposed to be the start of us getting back to normal. Back to normal? Yes. I need to not be Mr. Mom anymore. But normal? Went out the door the day you did. Well, if we can't get back oh, to the way no. things were, why the hell are we getting remarried? Oh, no. She's, she's about to get a freaking business. I know. They both have their own businesses. They don't want... Mm. Shrimp are to die for. Mm. I bet <laughs> you might get slugged when we start to die for. <laughs> Once you go from being weird to normal, you can never go back to being weird again. That is an odd thought. Well, let's hope it's the last. Cheers to that, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know oh, if I like the normal. Surely. Or something nice to say at a wedding, and I found nothing, so I had a drink. <laughs> and then I looked real hard. You know what I found? Nothing. My daddy said he would stay with my mommy forever, and he left. Mm. Marriage is a lie. Nobody commits to this. Nobody stays with anybody forever, so why do we keep lying? I'm going to stay with somebody forever. It's in my <laughs> stupid DNA. You expect anyone here to believe that? <laughs> I don't care if anybody believes it, jackass. It's a fact. Prove it, ding dong. There are a lot what of layers to this. It's a little too conceptual to follow, but yes, I love it. <laughs> it's almost too conceptual. I don't want to interrupt, but you are cordially invited to prevent a disaster. I promise to put your dreams before mine. I promise to bother you. What the fuck? Oh, wow. What about babies? What about them? How many? Pick a number, dick, like it's up to me. What in God's name? <laughs> Being good at weddings doesn't make you good at marriage. Exactly. People can make all sorts of promises, but they never stick it out. <laughs> it's not something you just stick out, man. Right? It's a risk that you take together. Oh, he's yeah, gonna convince himself now. Yes, yeah. yeah. but the person you're making promises to is gonna change. But do you promise to be patient when that person's stereo business takes a little while to get off the ground? I do, but. <laughs> You accept that 10 years is more than a little while and the odds aren't going away. <laughs> Maybe it's time to let somebody else take the lead. I do. You do? Yes. Aww. And I promise I will do whatever it takes to make this work forever. No! Well, imagine. No! <laughs> Let's reverse this now. If you let me pronounce you man and wife, you can kiss the bride and you can save like uh, 70 bucks. What do you say, babe? Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, let's party! <laughs> <laughs> Jeff and Britt are already there. Oh. Don't do oh, it. Shit. Is he gonna go? <laughs> <laughs> We're weird. We need to be weird. You wanna see something weird? Check out the stands. It's like the first uh, the idea was to show no emotion. Oh, I think the cosmic engineer I found you for this is hardly the time. Or is it hardly? The space. <laughs> what sort of creature would do a dance called the Lindbergh Lean? Blorgans? My name is Danielle. It appears the Blorgans have developed the ability to take human form. Oh my god. The board loved your sandwich shop idea. The <gasps> bad news is they made a few calls and sold the space to Subway the sandwich place. What? Seriously, I put a lot of work into that idea. How could you do this, Dean? I'm sorry. The board went over my head on this one. And I don't remember being invited to your wedding, so I guess we're even on the hurting each other front. This Dean's way too involved. <laughs> so I'm gonna go break the news to Pierce. He's not gonna like this. I think Pierce is a lot more mature than we all give him credit for. Look at me now, Dad. How many sandwich places did you have? Uh-oh. Ha ha! None! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I used to eat all this. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> no! I just let it run! Can I want some ice cream now? <laughs> Should we go get that ice cream? What Why are you still there? <laughs> <laughs> Shirley got remarried. I like it. How about it?
Yeah, yeah. Um, I know that her, her rehearsals are going to turn into her wedding to save 70 bucks. Might as well. Yeah, why not? I mean, who want, I don't even understand why you would have a wedding rehearsal for your second wedding. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. Especially if you can catch it with all the emotion that they got in the rehearsal. Yeah. Definitely go to <laughs> Just do that shit. When are you guys getting married? Who? What? <laughs> Who? At a bass maker concert? Oh. No. no. I told Nahid, because we see so many like things like people getting like proposed to at festivals. Like, oh my god. Oh really? No, I don't want that shit. You don't want to get married on stage it? with bass nectar? Don't know. Don't propose or get married near a festival rave or any of that stuff. Say keep that way far away. I don't want it. But what about Marshmallow as the official? Oh God, no. <laughs> Did anyway. you try for Ninja Warrior? No, I don't know. <laughs> Me and uh, Marchetto for our second wedding. Uh, there's this guy who does trap music in town named Rico <laughs> who pours Sprite on women at his concert. He's been ordained as a minister. Oh my god. <laughs> kind of want to fly him out and have him do our wedding and then also like do a show afterwards. Oh my god, have a chorus right on her like Czech friends. Fuck no, in yeah, rural, he can't. He in, in rural, rural middle of nowhere Czech Republic. Oh my god. That'd, <laughs> that'd be, be that'd be something I would love to see actually. And then he'll Sheesh. perform 8 Ton Gorilla and it'll be the world <laughs> I got my pl- I got my passport now so I could come to that. Oh shit. Oh, yeah, we all got uh, passports. Of course uh, you can yeah. get invited. Yeah. Damn. That'd be absolutely fucking hype. <laughs> Back to the episode, though. It was, uh, it was a good episode. You yeah. got to see Shirley and her, you know, husband go through what real relationships go through, I feel, in life. Because, like, you know, stay home dad, stay home mom. So he's like, you know, nobody wants to do it. They want to pursue their lives and whatnot. I'm not saying not everybody doesn't want to do it. There are people who do want to do it. But in their case, you know, they both want to pursue something other than children. And they finally got to, you know, come around that whole circle and agree on it. And that was really nice to go. Shirley yeah. saying it didn't work out. Yeah, I'm sure they'll figure something out, though. Yeah. I do like Britta and Jeff really going yeah, at it. That was hilarious. Annie being helpful and the boys being normal. Yeah, their idea of being normal was like a show no emotion, kind of just, you know, go about the day by day. Yeah. Super proper. Yeah. <laughs> Super duper proper. The monkey, like, was assigned to him to be, you know, go all weird again. But you gotta, you gotta find the monkey, man. He should have went, and, they should have went ahead and went into the... I know, I was hoping he'd go into the event. And his boobs can't just live in the vent alone. You gotta go in there. So you gotta chase him down on that one. Alison Brie would want it that way. Alison like. Brie, she was and his character was really funny in this episode too. I love She's all about that wedding. No. <laughs> <laughs> Excited squeal. <laughs> Does she really sound like one? that in real life? I never really saw an interview. No, she's kind of. No, take no nonsense her, her, in her life, but she's good at playing. But her voice is like very like high pitched. Yeah, like in uh, you should see her character in Mad Men, which is pretty much straight lace. Who is she in Mad Men? Ah, uh, she's somebody's wife, and she doesn't take no shit. I forget whose wife. Or she Diane. Is. Wait, Mad Men, the TV show. Yeah, oh, yeah. Not a TV show. Oh, should I haven't seen that movie? Yet. Or and she's Diana. You know. Yeah, she totally doesn't sound like this. And like, yeah, that's a good show. There, Anglo. Yeah, all of them are. Oh yeah. She's yeah, great. she's got good roles. <laughs> yeah, she got good roles. In the in in uh, as Diane, she the in first season when she had that uh, meltdown and her, with her family, I was just like, <laughs> yeah, it was perfect. <laughs> I I someone has to point it out to me for me to realize it was her. Yeah. Um, but it totally did, I totally thought the episode was gonna go a different way. I'm glad it went this way. It was a nice surprise to be you know not always, you know wrong. And yeah. so, so that was nice. Yeah. yeah. Poor well, Dean. He's always thinks they're like he's their like best right. friend and everything. I'm excited for the next one. I think we're gonna get moseying on to it. But before yeah. we do, we want to tell you guys if you want to catch up on episodes we've already watched, they're already on Patreon. Because that's how that shit works already. Uh, go to our Discord and check out our Discord. We have a wonderful community and they're literally waiting to hang out with people just like you. Yes. Boom. Check us out on all social medias. Obviously, that's a given. And we got some merch. So look at that. Merch. So all the fun normie things. Check us out on Patreon. Check out the merch. Do it all. And we'll see you at the next episode. Oh, and since Nahid isn't here, I'll say the Nahid thing. This isn't a market substitute. Go watch this. It's on Hulu. That's hilarious. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching a little bit of community with our gang here. Tell us in the comments if you have a funny proposal or wedding story. Catch up on Patreon with early access and uncut episodes of community. And as always, thanks to our super patrons, Luis, Tamor, Quasi, Trip, Toy Soldier, Benjamin, Joe, Keyboard Junkie, Robert, NYR fan, Joey, and Philip. See y'all next week.